Hey guys, Captain here. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that's um, sometimes called the 5 6 rule. Someone requested this on one of my technique videos, which suggests that they're already aware of it, but uh, not everyone is. And um, this is something interesting. If you take a look at some bricks, these are one by one bricks here, you may notice that the bricks are not exactly the same height as they are wide, which is a little strange. And um, this is, knowing this is useful if you're doing a lot of studs not on top things. It's kind of a more advanced technique. Once you start thinking about studs not on top, you know, all sorts of um, possibilities open up in your building. And the reason I didn't originally make a video about this was because I didn't really know what to say about it. But now I think I've gathered some thoughts and ideas. Now if we take, say, two of these Travis bricks and we stick one sideways onto the other, you'll notice we can't actually put a plate onto this because it doesn't quite fit because this because um, this height is different from the width and um, so being able to to understand this and to manipulate this to your will can allow you to make a lot of really interesting things using studs not on top now today in the video we're gonna make something pretty small and simple we're going to make a cube out of regular bricks just to demonstrate really what you can see here because um, as it turns out there's a pretty simple ratio of the height and the width of a brick and that is the width is uh, five units to the height six so basically if we were to take something that's six bricks wide and five bricks tall um, we would have a perfect cube so let's start building and we'll see that quite quickly and um, once you start thinking about uh, about bricks in terms of uh, smaller units of their height and width. You know, it's, it's easy to think about bricks in terms of um, as, as three plates tall. That's something that becomes pretty obvious if you've been building a little bit. But um, once you start thinking of them in terms of um, five units wide and six units tall, other possibilities start to open up. And you start to notice that certain things, certain pieces might have an indent or a size, uh, you know, for, for a portion of them, of one-sixth of, um, of a brick. And, uh, in fact, after I finish this cube, I am going to assign a little homework assignment. And I'll probably show a solution to it at some point. Uh, I spent a long time thinking about it to find a really complex solution. And then... I spent another few minutes thinking about it to realize that there was in fact a very simple solution. So uh, anyway, my hint is going to be, uh, well, you'll see, because we've just finished our cube, I'm trying to fill space while I'm talking. So this is five bricks tall, you can count them, you can probably see the lines on camera, one, two, three, four. And this is six bricks wide, should be pretty obvious. If we put a six by six plate, obviously it's perfectly fits, so we've got a six by six. But if we hold it to the side, I'm going to try and press these down a bit. If we hold it to the side, we'll notice that this also matches in dimensions. It might be just like the tiniest bit off, but uh, that's probably more so the bricks or how, um, how tightly I pressed them rather than, um, than an actual flaw here. Uh, if you do stack a really large amount of bricks, you start to see a small... Um, offset like for example if you stack a lot of plates to emulate bricks uh, you know once you stack like a lot of them it you're a little off from three plates to the brick so that might be something that's going on here you know the fact that we can see the line means that there's just a little tiniest bit of space but anyway I think it's pretty clear that what we've got here is a cube so your homework assignment is to make another cube same dimensions except have it be perfectly smooth on top and perfectly smooth on bottom and perfectly smooth on all the sides and you can do this using um, some studs not on top tricks of course it'll be necessary to use the fact that it's uh, three plates to a brick or I guess you could think of a plate as two units tall and uh, my hint is going to be uh, to think of some one by one modified bricks uh, because as it turns out there's a pretty simple solution using some of those and I'll uh, I don't know I'll reveal the solution sometime 
probably just as an annotation. I don't. I might have it as like a like a hidden video from this one, or maybe I'll make it a full video. We'll see. Uh, if you guys have any other techniques you'd like to you'd like me to talk about, um, then I'll gladly do so. And uh, you know, if this kind of thing becomes popular, maybe I'll kind of pose some some more Lego puzzles. There is a Flickr group that ha hosts like a small competition for Lego puzzles. It'll it'll have like a box. It'll say what pieces, usually there are a few pieces that are not allowed, and then it'll have you try and recreate that box, and it involves a lot of uh, Lego math, like the basic stuff that we talked about in this video. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe, send this to your friends, check out my other ones, and I will see you guys next time.